were the Anunnaki? Our ancestors are gods. Where did they come from and did they even exist? These questions have been haunting the minds of modern people lately. Today we will unveil the veil of secrecy and understand this issue. For the first time, the Anunnaki are mentioned in ancient Sumerian records. The Sumerians are the people who once inhabited the southern territories of Mesopotamia, now Iraq. Experts believe that Anunnaki surpassed even modern human society in terms of living standards. For Sumerians, Anunnaki were primarily deities. Some researchers suggest that the Mesopotamia inhabitants knew about what was a real, had various tools, had excellent knowledge of mathematics, and were able to treat even the most serious diseases. Moreover, the Sumerians devoted quite a bit of time to space exploration. Sumerian records contain detailed descriptions of the solar system, its structure and features. However, the ancient people believed that the planets and the solar system were 12, including the moon and the sun itself. The twelfth mysterious celestial body hid behind other planets and was far removed from the Earth. We still divide the year into four seasons, twelve months and twelve of zodiac signs, measure angles, minutes and seconds in six dozen, just like the Sumerians first began to do. We call the constellations their Sumerian names, translated into Greek or Arabic, and through these languages, that have got into ours. We also know astrology with astronomy which first appeared in Sumer and over the centuries has not lost its influence on the human mind. So, who were the Anunnaki? Anunnaki in the Sumerian Akkadian mythology of the deity generated by Anu, gods Anu and Ki. About once every 3600 years they visit the earth, come into contact with people. It was believed that they determine human destinies, are intermediaries between gods and people. Later, this name began to designate the earthly and underground gods as opposed to heavenly ones. The number of Anunnaki in various texts is different, from 7 to 600, but the most common number is 50. It is to be assumed that the word Anuna, Inanna was due to the fact that the Anunnaki father was the god and, so it is logical to assume that the word Anunnaki, these are the children of Anna, roughly speaking, as we are given, in addition to the last name and first name, middle name, here too. The Anunnaki eat grain, drink milk, but cannot satisfy their hunger and thirst. The oldest decrypted written tablets say, After the sky is separated from the earth, after the earth is separated from the sky, after a person has been given a name, after lifted up the skies, after an the Lord of the earth, on the earth there were only gods, and will rule them. Once, on the mountain of earth and heaven, and conceived the Anunnaki. From a mythological point of view, the Anunnaki was a group of deities whose faith was spread in ancient Mesopotamia. However, these gods, as the researchers suggest, knew even in ancient Egypt. Divine creatures are not generally classified as supreme or major sumer gods. These were considered a Giji. For example, the first ruler on earth was a god named Enki. Traditionally, it is customary to refer it to the caste of supreme deities. However, in later texts Enki is sometimes called the king of the Anunnaki. For a certain time Enki ruled over everything and everyone, but then he began to rule together with his own brother Enlil. As a result, Enlil secured the northern lands, all other possessions remained in Enki's hands. In the classical understanding of the deity, the Anunnaki are the younger gods. They inhabited the earth, and also inhabited the underworld. In rare ancient myths, it is mentioned that they ascended to heaven and lived there together with the supreme divine creatures. At the dawn of the development of the Sumerian Akkadian mythology, the Anunnaki were considered a caste of Thonic gods. Thonic gods are creatures that inhabit the dark underworld. Personalized uncontrollable, wild forces of nature. Younger gods often acted as intermediaries between mortal people and cosmic higher deities. They transmitted advice, guidance and knowledge, secured agreements between people and gods, accepted and redirected sacrifices for the sovereigns and so on. In a number of ancient myths, creatures act as those who decide the fate of all living on earth. They patronize people and protect them. On the other hand, the Anunnaki are a kind of supreme judge, evaluating human actions and able to punish for sins. 
There is an assumption, which appeared already nowadays, that the Anunnaki could act as slaves for the Geeky. Fold mining on Earth was originally conducted by the Anunnaki under the guidance of supreme deities. Tired of oppression, the younger gods revolted, as a result of which they split off from the divine caste and later created people. In the period from 2111 BC until about 2003 BC, Tonic deities were considered the children of Anu, the head of the ancient divine Sumerian Akkadian pantheon. Later, another legend arose in the territory of Babylon, according to which the Anunnaki were descendants of the great god Marduk. Marduk is the eldest son of Enki, the supreme deity. In Egyptian mythology, he is identified with Ra. He perfectly possessed the knowledge necessary for the treatment of soul and body. Also engaged in necromancy, he was able to raise the dead. It is believed that Marduk lived and died on our planet, they buried him in a tomb in Babylon. After himself among the people, he left countless descendants. A completely different view is opened on Marduk in the framework of the ancient Assyrian Babylonian legend. The legend says that the ancestors of all deities, including the great Marduk, were Tiamat and Apsu. The first representatives of the human race created directly Marduk. What the Anunnaki look like? Anunnaki are visually very similar to humans. They have two arms and two legs, two eyes, a structure similar to the human body. The main difference between aliens is growth. It is believed that the Anunnaki are up to 4-5 meters high. Perhaps they became the prototype of the giants present in the mythology of various peoples. Representatives of extraterrestrial civilization have heavy and massive bones. The skin is light glowing. This glow equates them to deities. On the ancient bas reliefs, both Sumerian and Egyptian, the Anunnaki completely look exactly like ordinary people. However, in ancient Egyptian drawings there is one feature that is characteristic only of deities from distant cosmos. A large shining sphere is often depicted above their heads. What were the Anunnaki doing on Earth? There are several points of view, why the Anunnaki first flew to Earth and why they returned to our planet over and over again. The most popular version at the moment was outlined by Zakaria Sitkine. He believed the guests from Nibiru came to Earth with the goal of extracting gold. They used precious metal in the form of dust in order to create an external field for their planet. It retains sunlight, heat and acts as a reinforced shield. Initially, they mined gold in the bowels of their own planet. But at some point, the reserves were completely depleted. Therefore, the divine creatures went to explore other celestial bodies, hoping to find the element they needed on them. Having found themselves on Earth and having realized that there are plenty of gold reserves here, the creatures decided to create assistance, in another version, slaves. The Anunnaki conducted several experiments in which they crossed their DNA with the genes of the Earth's monkeys. After several unsuccessful experiments that led only to dead-end branches of development, the aliens managed to create a reasonable person. Exploring the Earth, the aliens quickly realized that many useful materials could be found in this place. Gradually, apart from gold, they began mining tungsten, silver and other elements, using them as fuel for their flying ships. According to another version, the main goal for guests from outer space could be the desire to convey valuable knowledge to humanity. When they first appeared on Earth, humans already existed, but developed extremely slowly. The Anunnaki contributed to making the human race evolve faster. There is a third theory in which creatures from Nibiru are described as hostile and evil creatures. They wanted, and want, to take over the Earth, to enslave or even destroy all of humanity. Proponents of this idea insist that a possible end of the world will not happen due to a collision of our planet and Nibiru, but because of an attack from extraterrestrial beings. References in different sources In many ancient Sumerian Akkadian traditions, the Anunnaki appear, representing in the form of deities. So, for example, they are present in the myth, Lahar and Ashnan, in the legend, Enki and Ninma. In the legends of ancient Babylon, you can also find references to these creatures. The Anunnaks are mentioned in the mythical stories, the tale of Ur and Enumal Elish. Some scholars insist that the image of aliens from a distant planet can be traced in the legacy left by the Aztecs and Mayans. Theories and Myths According to one version, the divine alien creatures in the distant past lived freely on Earth. They are believed to have witnessed Atlantis disappear. 
After such an event, the Anunnaki, leaving their children born of Earth women, and several representatives of the race, left the Earth. Since then, aliens return every 3600 or more years. Flights Against the background of the widespread point of view that Nibiru is the red killer planet, there is another theory. This celestial object is actually a huge spacecraft, on which the Anunnaki travel through starry space, patrolling their territories. In illustrations to support such a hypothesis, Nibiru is depicted as a disk with wings. In the records of the ancient Sumerians, there are also mentions about alien space moving. The texts say that the Anunnaki fly in chariots of fire. When they land in our world, all mortal beings need to move away so as not to suffer from red hot sparks. Presumably, the Anunnaki used the same gold dust as fuel for the chariots of fire. In addition to the chariots, aliens moved on flying ships made of iron. However, they used such devices not for travel in outer space, but only for moving from one point of the Earth to another. Iron cars were gas, during the flight they were enveloped in clouds of grey-white dense smoke. Symbols of the god Enki, lords of the earth, in different sources are Capricorn, the ancient serpent, the head of a ram, a turtle, a goatfish, a crown with seven horns. Second. Probably among the ancestors of Nefertiti were the Anunnaki. The relationship with divine cosmic creatures explains not only its beauty, but also its high height, 3.5 meters. Third. Among modern theories, the hypothesis that aliens are evil in the flesh has gained some popularity. The Anunnaki are aggressive, conceited, cruel, and sharply negative in relation to people. One of the main deeds of their life is the enslavement or total destruction of the human race. Fourth, Marduk had 600 Anunnaks under his command. He equally divided them into those who live in heaven and those who live in the underworld. The supreme deity gave heavenly beings the wings that were invisible to the human eye. Fifth, some scholars suggest that divine creatures come to our world regularly, and appear in the form of prophets. They predict wars, cataclysms, global changes. Sixth. Being the secrets of the universe keepers, space guests are not ready to share information with everyone. They choose only pure, spiritually developed people, passing on to them great knowledge. Seventh. Ancient Babylon was home to an Ananic sanctuary called Akagula. The House of the Great Gate. Eighth. Based on mythological texts, it was suggested that the aliens created such ancient cities as Nippur and Areda. Ninth. In the distant past, divine creatures studied Mars. They even colonized the planet. Tenth. One theory involving alien aircraft states that methane is used as fuel. It was originally mined on Mars. Then, when on the red planet, the reserves of matter were depleted, the aliens began to search for methane on Earth. 11th. On ancient Egyptian basrelief, creatures from space, looking like ordinary people, are depicted with a wristwatch. 12th. There is an assumption that the alien race made its first visit during the Ice Age. It happened about 450,000 years ago. 13th. In terms of mythology, creatures living in the underworld were closely intertwined with death. They met the souls of dead people and, evaluating the path traveled by man, they decided whether the soul would ascend upward or spend all eternity in the cold and dark kingdom of the dead. 14th. Some researchers believe that when the Anunnaki arrived on Earth, only men lived here. To make it possible to continue the genus, the aliens cloned the people living at the time. With the help of highly developed technologies, they created women from the obtained copies. 15th. Ophologists suggest that aliens on Earth regularly come into contact with people. Their main goal in this case is the collection of human energy. The Anunnaki usually act under cover of night, immersing the victim in a deep sleep, and after pumping out strength. The next morning, a person feels overwhelmed, sick and completely exhausted. In summary, it can be noted that the Anunnaki is one of the civilizations of the ancestors, it can be boldly argued that the evidence of such civilizations as Maya, Shumer, Egyptians, allows to draw a clear conclusion. Contact with the Anunnax has occurred in the past. When do we wait for them again? Let us leave this question open. Thank you, friends, for your interest. 
press like, leave comments, be sure to subscribe to updates and click on the bell.